Anders are definitely no strangers to the heat and humidity, but the summer weather can make it hard to wear face masks at times, almost unbearable really. So if you're struggling to keep your mask on while outdoors, then you'll want to hear the advice that our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, has to share. Welcome back. Pretty warm hey. out there lately, so we're trying to make it through with the masks. Absolutely, Glenda. And, you know, the coronavirus, people think, is, is it disappeared. It's not magically disappeared. It's continuing to spread, right? You know the, the record numbers in, in states, in at least 10 states, like California, Florida, and Alabama. So, yes, it may feel warm. Let me tell you, I wear masks all the time. It could feel very warm and, and hot to wear. But research has shown this, that it lowers transmission rates, which means what? will save lives and folks will get sick less. That's the important part. So what advice, Doc, do you have uh, to share with us that will make mask wearing perhaps less uncomfortable in the warm weather? Yeah, that's the, that's the big question, right, Dave? So I suggest that you, you, know, you, wear, you wear masks that are lightweight, uh, like, like cloth masks or surgical masks. They tend to be more comfortable than the N95 mask. I wore a, an N95 mask all day today, so I'll tell you that's, for, that's definitely for sure. And if you start to feel too hot, then take a break, right? You can lift up the mask to let more air in and cool yourself down a bit. But before you even think of touching your mask, it's important that you make sure no one's close to you, right? You want to spread those germs and use hand sanitizer first. You don't want to transfer any germs from your hands to your mask or, very importantly, to your face. Okay, and also if you, if you sweat out in the hot sun, you may want to bring an extra mask with you because if it gets damp, the mask is not as effective in keeping germs up. And then lastly, remember to wash your cloth masks when you get home to kill off any bacteria that might be on them. So, Dr. Nandy, we just learned that gyms will be allowed to reopen starting June 25th. Wearing a mask is really hard when working out. Should we do that? And how can we stay safe if we don't? Yes, yeah, so the short answer is, Glenda, yes. I, I just saw that there was, we're going to be opening up. But here's the thing, you know, just because it's uncomfortable, it's not an excuse that we are not going to stay safe. So I have a gym membership. I know how challenging it's going to be. But here's what you do. You, know, you try to find types of exercise that you do. I like, I like, you know, the treadmill, I like stationary bikes, I like to lift weights. You can do that a little easier than, for example, getting a higher energy aerobic class, right, with the mask on. Uh, but with the mask, you may need to modify your workout, right, to do less repetitions and not exert yourself as much. It's important. Now, you may just say, well, the heck with it, I'm going to ditch my mask. Please don't do that. I can't stress enough that working outdoors uh, working out indoors rather raises your risk quite a bit. You're more at risk for inhaling right, contaminated aerosolized droplets that might be you know, carrying the coronavirus or you might be the one that's forcing out the, the virus with, with the air that you exhale. And I know that some gyms are offering outdoor classes which are, which are better but you still need to be uh, six feet away from others. Uh, the risk of getting infected with the coronavirus in general is, is much lower when working out than working out indoors. So just be careful just because it's uncomfortable and it's not perfect, it doesn't mean we stop becoming vigilant because that's when we can get you know, the virus going up in numbers. So we gotta be vigilant to, to really stay our, keep our community safe. Got a mask up, Doc. Yep. You got it, thank you. Appreciate it, have a great weekend. You if, too. If you have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And this week on the Dr. Nandy Show, Glyphosate. What's the real story? Dr. Nandy raising awareness about a dangerous chemical found in weed killers that just might be sitting on your garage shelf. You'll want to tune in Sunday, June 21st, 5 p.m. right here on Channel 7.